So this question is a translate word problem question. I know that just given the length of the question, it's four lines long. Um, I'm going to read this question a sentence at a time and make sure I understand what I read, make sure I write down any quantitative information before moving on. The first sentence here says, for an exponential function g, the value of g of x decreases by 20% for each one unit increase in the value of x. So if x goes up by 1, then g of x goes down by 20%. So there's my translation. The next sentence says, if g of 2 equals 16, okay, so that's good to know, g of 2 equals 16, which equation could define g? Well, what does this mean? First of all, g of 2 equals 16. That means when x equals 2, g of 2 equals 16, right? So these are things that I can plug in. So I'm going to use plug in information from the question because technically the question provided this information. So I'm going to use this strategy, PIQ, to solve this question. So when I put a 2, and let me just use a different color, use red. When I plug a 2 in for x here and a 2 in for x there, what happens? Well, first of all, here, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 0.8 to the 0 power, well, that's just 1. 16 times 1 is 16. So I do get here g of 2 is equal to 16. So I like that. I like that answer because it gives me exactly what I was expecting to get, the question told me. Um, but I'm going to try the other ones just to make sure there's not another one here that might make this more interesting. So I'm going to replace x with 2 here, replace x with 2 here. Here, 2 plus 2 now, this time makes this 4. 0 0.8 to the 4th power. I'm not going to even figure out what that is because I know the 0 0.8 to the 4th power times 16 will not still equal 16, right? And I still want g of 2 to equal 16. So in this case, g of 2 does not equal 16, and that's why choice B is gone. Choice C, I put a 2 here and here. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 0.2 to the 0 power is 1. 16 times 1 is 16. So here we go, another case where g of 2 equals 16. And then lastly, I think we'll end up with a similar situation that we had in choice B because this is 4 and 0 0.2 to the 4th power and still multiplied by 16 will not still equal 16. So it's not equal to 16. So I'm going to erase this just so we can clean this up a bit, knowing that choice A and C both gave me g of 2 equals 16. What's different about choices A and C? Well, choice A has a 0 0.8 here. Choice C has a 0 0.2 here. Where is this coming from? Well, I think this is coming from this 20% decrease that was mentioned in the question, right? Because we hadn't otherwise talked about that in our plugging in. So if I'm decreasing by 20%, right? So if g of 2 equals 16, that means that g of 1 had to have been a number that when reduced or decreased by 20% equals 16. Now, that value would be 20, okay? Because I know that 20% of 20 is 4, and therefore when I subtract 4, I get 16. So when I subtract 20%, I get down to 16. But 16, right? 16 as in terms of how I would place this in a function, this is 80% of 20, right? So in essence, g of 3, for instance, should be 0 0.8 times 16, should be 80% of the previous value. And g of 4 should be 0 0.8 times g of 3, right? It shouldn't be 20% of that. So I'm liking choice A for that reason because it has a 0 0.8 here instead of the 0 0.2.